what did you just say? You, you said I'm not a gentleman? Sir, I will have you know I am a gentleman to the ladies, okay? Look, man, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm not trying to start nothing, okay? Maybe you are a gentleman to some of them. What do you mean to some of them? Okay, give me one good example when I have not been a gentleman in your presence. Okay, one example. Remember that time we was playing poker at your house and you kicked your girlfriend out and broke up with her and she had to drive two states away through the middle of the night? See, I knew you were going to bring that thing up. Look, she threw my leftover plate of fajitas away. I went in there after playing poker all night with you dumbasses to go heat it up and eat it. It's in the trash can. That sent me over the edge, okay? And I just couldn't do it anymore. I told her romantically it wasn't working out and the fajitas was the last straw. Honestly. And I was a gentleman in that situation. I carried her bags to her car for her. And I opened her door and she slammed it in my face. And I, and I gave her the option to stay the night. I told her you can sleep in the driveway in your car if you want to so you don't have to drive through the night. I did every gentleman thing I could think of. Okay, okay, whatever. What, what about that time you made that girl cry at the music festival we was at? Also, a bad example of me not being a gentleman, no, okay, look, she said, hey, can I get on your shoulder so I can see the stage better? I said, no, sorry, this is the cover band, and there's still six more coming up. I can't hold you up that long, I'm not in that good a shape. She was like, 260, all I said was, maybe you should go find somebody that looks like they work out more than me. And she just took that the wrong way, that wasn't my fault. It, it's just the way you said it, man. It just wasn't very gentleman-like. You could have you let her down a little bit easier. All right, I mean, honestly, you, you probably just should have held her up for a little while. I mean, that would have been the more gentleman-like thing to do. Oh, okay, so I'm not a gentleman because I didn't want a fucking impacted spinal joint and six months of chiropractic work? Okay, I, I, excuse the fuck out of me, I guess.